Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Ignore my dirty table. It's covered in paint and a bunch of other stuff I really don't know. Um, but today I will be showing you guys my Inktober supplies. Uh, if you guys don't know, Inktober is during the month of October where we use only ink and each day is a different prompt. So this is my latte milk carton pencil case and it is dirty, it's covered in Copics and paint, and I don't even know what else. And inside are all the pens that I will be using this October. Okay, so first, I have a Prismacolor Coley Race in Carmen Red. Uh, I don't really know if I'm going to be using pencil. Uh, I know some people like to do an underdrawing and then ink over it, but I haven't decided if I'm going to do that or just commit to ink. So I'm going to keep this in my pouch just in case I decide to, but nothing's really been decided yet. I have my Micron pens in 00501. 005, 01, 05, and 03. Uh, as you can see, I use the one a lot because it's uh, <laughs> the label's gone. Oopsies. I also have this Pigma brush pen. I believe it's the same company. Yes, yeah, the same company as Micron's, but this one is a brush pen, and this one's in black. It's so pretty. I also have these pens. Let's see grab them all. These are the Pentel Arts Hybrid Te Technica pens and I have them in 06, 05, 04, 03, and 08. So the 03 is super thin. Like I'm talking about super thin. And then the 08 is a lot thicker. So I actually really like these pens. Um, I use the 04 a lot, if you can see. I tend to use the 03 and the 04, my favorite one to use. Um, they're really smooth. I think I got these at like Hobby Lobby, but I love these pens. Okay, next I have two of these Uniball Vision pens. They're both waterproof and fade proof. One is in fine and the other one is in micro. If I can open these, and this is what these look like. And they're super cute. Where did I buy these? These I got, why don't I remember? I don't remember where I bought these. If I remember, I'll say it. But or write it somewhere, but I actually don't remember where I bought these. But these ones are really smooth and I actually really like them. Uh, I do like a lot of Uniball products. So that's really good. I also have this brush, I think it's like a Pentel brush pen. It's not in English, this is all Japanese and so is all the writing, but it is an ink pen. Ink, ink, ink and all the ink is stored in here and then you just squish it. Um, the ink that was in here, I actually used up and <laughs> these are not refillable, but I found a way <laughs> to force it to be refillable. Uh, so inside of it is, I think, Speedball ink. Um, I believe I took it apart and got a syringe, like not like a needle, but like a syringe with like a thick, I don't know what to call it. Needle? Tube? And put it in here and filled it up. I also tried using a pipette, but that that was messy. And so I was able to use this brush pen more because it does run out really fast. And depending on where you buy them, they can be kind of pricey. So I just decided to find a way to refill it. I did it and yeah. Uh, I don't remember. I do know it's a pencil. You can get these at Michael's, I believe. Okay, last two. Uh, one is this Jane 
Davenport, is that how you pronounce that? In Ink Credible Pen. Oh my god, is that what it's called? <laughs> uh, it is super fancy. Ooh, fancy gold. And it is just an ink pen. And this one, I have plenty of these ones and I hate them all. This is the only one that I like. And the cool thing about this is that it's like $8 at Michael's and it comes with two ink cartridges and then one refillable cartridge. So you can use that cartridge to basically fill it up with any ink that you want and that way you don't have to keep constantly buying the refillable part. So um, I have not gone through the first cartridge, so I still have the second one and the refillable one uh, somewhere. But I really do like this pen because it actually has a nice tip and I can actually make circles. Uh, I have had some pens that I cannot turn. <laughs> Or they meant for calligraphy. And then I think everyone has this on their Inktober supply list is the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. And it looks like this. Squish, 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 squish. Uh, the ink's a lot darker than the other ink from the Pentel brush, but that's because I refilled it with Speedball. Um, These things are like $20, um, so they are quite pricey for a pen. I know a lot of artists like swear by it and say it's like the most amazing thing ever, but I actually think it's okay. Um, I use it mainly to cover large areas. Same with the other brush pen. Uh, I will say though, out of all the brush pens that I've used, this one and the Pigma one, the Micron brush pen, are the ones I have the most control with. If I had to choose between one of these two, I would choose the Micron brush pen and that is just because I feel like because the brush is like smaller, it is easier to control and make fine strokes like eyelashes for example. The only problem is that this is not, um, it doesn't have hairs, it's actually, what is it called? like a nib, it's like a brush nib, there we go. Whereas this one, if I can open it, has actual hairs. So the problem is that if the hairs get messed up and they fray, it is gonna show in your artwork, which is one of the problems I had with this pen, is that this one also has hairs. Uh, and if they fray, you can't get a clean line. But if you practice with this, I'm pretty sure it's easy, but I just think it's okay but I rarely use it, so I'm gonna use it this month. So that is everything that I am using. Uh, I am thinking about maybe using some Copics, but I'm not gonna carry them around because I have too many to carry around. So I'm just gonna be carrying this in my little latte bag. So let's, and I got ink on it already. Mm. Dang it. And then for my sketchbook, I will be using this sketchbook. It is the Denick Denick sketchbook. Uh, I got this at Michaels for like ten dollars. And these stickers, these two are my own stickers. This is my Muse sticker, and this is my Space Red Ranger with the Red Cycle Ranger sticker. And then these two are just blood donation stickers that I get every time I donate blood. And this is not the only style, they have a bunch of other styles. I just like the one that says now or never. So motivational, right? Um, the paper is actually really good. I like using it. It holds Copics and ink pretty well. Quick, quick flip through. Um, so I will be using this type of paper. Um, it's really thick and holds markers and ink and it's super smooth. Um, so this is my sketchbook that I will be using. It's actually my normal sketchbook and I was thinking about getting a specific sketchbook just for Inktober, but I decided no because I have too many sketchbooks. So instead, I will be using my regular sketchbook. And I have in the back, it doesn't have a pouch, 
like moleskins or most other sketchbooks which I'm super used to. Uh, this one just says that by purchasing a Denik product you Denik? Den yeah, Denik. You have helped to build schools in Mali, Guatemala, and Laos. Uh, it says art can change the world. So when you buy their products, I guess a percentage of the price goes to building schools. So that's cool. And then I use this. This is the SAC Comic Con Sunday, October 21st flyer <laughs> that I got at, where did I get this from? I think from another Comic Con. I don't remember which one, but I got it from another one. Uh, and this just says like, who's gonna be there? The yellow space power is gonna be there, that's cool. And, um, you know, the date, whatever. But they hand out a bunch of these at cons and I tend to grab a bunch of them because these make really good barriers for when you want to draw with Copics. Like for example, this one, but you don't want it to like bleed onto your other page. I just put it right here. And so I can like Copic away and not have to worry about it bleeding because this stops it from doing that. So, and these are like the perfect size. Uh, it would just be better if there was a pocket I can put it into, but it usually just stays back here uh, in case I need it. So I will be using this in case uh, I use ink. Um, I think that's everything. I was thinking about maybe using calligraphy ink or other stuff. But I'm gonna try and keep it simple. Um, the Inktober prompt was released, I think, earlier this month. And I'm super excited to start because I don't think I've ever completed an Inktober. So I am planning on trying to complete it. So that's all the supplies I will be using. I will make sure to record all of the drawings and show you guys. I haven't decided if it'll be like a weekly thing or every like 10 prompts. I'll figure something out, but I do want to show you guys my Inktober journey for 2018. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.